Our next problem involved our entire company. After our briefing, we stocked up on ammo and set out for Nelson Pass one morning just after sunrise. All three platoons in our company were engaged in this exercise. Our instructors went along in jeeps to observe and grade us. This was our last tactical problem before graduation, so we all wanted to make as good a showing as possible. Strong enemy forces were supposed to be occupying Nelson Pass, and our job was to move up and drive them out. A lot of high brass was watching from an observation post. A plane came in and laid down a smoke screen over the enemy position. We got the signal to move out. Our platoon headed for the pass. As we moved forward, one of the other platoons set up a base of fire and covered our advance. Then we all joined together to move in on the final assault. driven off. Our mission was accomplished. The exercise was over. Lieutenant General Young, commanding general of the 6th Army, was very well pleased by our performance. He said he was delighted to welcome us to the growing ranks of combat-ready tankers who have been produced by the Armored Combat Training Center. We felt pretty good, too. While these last six weeks have been kind of rough, I don't think I've ever learned as much in as short a time. And wherever I go, I'm sure the training I've had here at Camp Irwin will be a great help to me. This is probably my last letter from the Mojave Desert. We're leaving for our new assignment in a couple of days. Until I see you then, I remain your loving son, John. When our men have completed this course at the Armored Combat Training Center, I think you will agree that they are well equipped to play their full role in the Army's overall mission. This is Sergeant Stuart Queen, inviting you to be with us again next week for another look at your Army in action on The Big Picture. The Big Picture is a weekly television report to the nation on the activities of the Army at home and overseas. Produced by the Army Pictorial Center, presented by the United States Army in cooperation with this station. You too can be an important part of the big picture. You can proudly serve with the best equipped, the best trained, the best fighting team in the world today, the United States Army.